And now we come to one of the more little known, lesser known giants of early jazz, uh, Louis Nelson Delisle, who had a nickname, Big Eye. Evidently he had big eyes. <laughs> he was a multi-instrumentalist, which was uh, kind of rare for the time. Uh, he is principally known for um, clarinet, but he was also a great banjo player. He played string bass, and he also played accordion, all professionally. Um, most of his career and most of his life was spent in New Orleans. He played with the greats of New Orleans while he was there. He studied with Lorenzo Teo, who was a clarinet clarinetist with um, Manuel Suarez and many of his uh, ensembles. Uh, Lorenzo Teo taught many of the great clarinets of the day, including Big Eye. Big Eye went on to teach the next generation of uh, great clarinet players who would include uh, Jimmy Dodds, did great work with um, King Oliver and uh, Louis Armstrong. Um, but his career never had quite that luster. We know him because of the great work he did in passing the New Orleans jazz tradition, particularly as it relates to the clarinet, to successive generations. His primary instrument at the time, believe it or not, was a C clarinet, uh, which you can't find anymore. Um, but he also uh, played the B-flat clarinet uh, later uh, in his life. Um, he did travel a bit. Everyone goes to New York, even to this very day. He was in New York. He was in Chicago for a short while. Um, he lost his gig in New York to one of his former students, and uh, he came back home uh, to New Orleans. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have any recordings uh, of him until about 1940. And the best we can ascertain is that he was born somewhere between 1880 and 1885 in some of the rural south uh, uh, areas. Uh, let's just say records of black births were not so carefully handled. Uh, because um, infant mortality was so great that quite often uh, you would not get a birth certificate for uh, a month or two, and uh, maybe not at all, which seems to be the case uh, with uh, Mr. DeLisle. Um, I know that very well. I remember my mother telling me that I did not get a birth certificate until a week after I was born because in those days it was assumed that most black babies may not make it a week. So they wouldn't even bother with you until you had survived for a week. Uh, I was born, you know, 70 years after Delisle, so you can imagine uh, what it was like for him. Uh, nonetheless, we remember him for his work as a player, for the fact that he was a multi-instrumentalist, and because he paved the way for successful generations, or successive generations of jazz clarinets that followed him, and he helped make the transition from the C clarinet to the B flat clarinet, from the Albert system to the Bohm system. So in that regard, it is worthy of us to remember him as he is a legend in his own right. Thank you very much.